Happy Sunday everyone, welcome back to the channel, and happy first episode of Game of Thrones final season! So excited! I can't wait! Going to my monthly laws tonight, I'm so excited, can you tell? Also exciting news, on Saturday, finally got to meet my nephew, who came into the world, his name is Reese, and he was 8 pounds 14 ounces. He's, pre he's a pretty big boy. He's so cute though. I'll make sure to post a picture of him up while I'm talking about him. So, today for our reading, we're obviously going to be using the Game of Thrones tarot again because it's Game of Thrones. So, let's start with Monday. Monday looks promising. Queen of Coins. Key meanings here. Affection, love, fertility, abundance, and help. Ooh. Generous and highly intelligent, this queen appreciates life's natural pleasures. She enjoys work that is hands-on and that directly benefits others, from cooking and gardening to environmental work and public office. Applied to a situation, the card signifies fertile ideas and financial support, and can predict love, marriage, and pregnancy. An additional meaning is a close relationship with animals and nature. So Monday you're going to either be closer with animals and nature, which would be very nice, or love is going to be happening for you, or marriage, maybe a proposal will be happening on Monday, or pregnancy, you're going to start a family on Monday. Uh, if you work hands-on and you benefit others, you know, your job is going to be awesome on Monday too. Perfect. Monday sounds just wonderful, doesn't it? Right, Tuesday we have the Ace of Swords. Swords? Sorry, Swords. Oh my gosh, Swords. Swords. Okay. Uh, key meanings, beginnings, decisions, insight, success, clarity, the intellect. This Ace reveals success and a breakthrough. With determination and clarity of purpose, you get what you want in work, creative projects, and relationships. Everything changes for the better when this ace comes into play, but there may be some level of confrontation too. Wield that awesome sword with care. So we've got a Jon Snow sword, and it sounds like Tuesday is going to be super good too. So success and breakthroughs, and you'll get what you want in work, creative projects, and relationships. So Tuesday is awesome. You'll get what you want on Tuesday. So Wednesday, we have five of coins, fear, poverty, lack, tests. You may be feeling poor or isolated emotionally, but this card comes up most for poverty consciousness. The belief that you'll never have what you need or when you get it, that you, can, you can't trust it. You have more resources than you realize. However, just like the five coins behind you, help is within reach. So for Wednesday, if you're finding you're having like financial struggles, help is within your reach and don't be, don't mistrust when you have the resources you need and don't, yeah, don't mistrust when you don't have it and when you have it, don't mistrust that, like, yeah. You do have more resources than you realize, so... So, never fear. <laughs> Thursday, Thursday is the Three of Swords, and the Three of Swords card is never a welcome sight. Key meanings, pain, suffering, sorrow, betrayal. The sword hilts represent House Stark, Lannister, and Baratheon, three warring factions. The suffering heart symbolizes the impact of a revelation. Sorrow, betrayal, and heartbreak, the card's meaning. You may see a painful truth, but you will know exactly where you stand from now on. An additional meaning is intense stress and the need to strike at the heart of a problem. So Thursday is going to be super stressful, and there could be a chance of sorrow, betrayal, and heartbreak. So just be careful on Thursday. So Friday is the Six of Swords. Key meanings, safety, peace, moving on. The upright six shows you that it's time to move on after a time of stress and conflict. You may take, yeah, sorry, you may take a physical trip away, 
step back from a stressful environment, or shift your perspective to find peace within. Overall, this card reassures you that order will return. You may also make a valuable discovery that offers a new perspective on the past. So Thursday is garbage day. <laughs> it's not a good day, but for all that shit that happens on Thursday, Friday is going to be like, okay, on Friday you're going to be like, okay, I got to take a step back from that or maybe go somewhere or you'll be like, you know what? I could have looked, I'll look at the situation this way. So on Friday you will have that perspective and peace and you'll move on from Thursday's crap. Saturday is the 10 of swords. Does not look good, does it? So key meanings here, finality, truth, endings. A bond is broken. This 10 is the card of endings. The evidence is unmistakable. The decision final. Although you may be shocked or confused, with hindsight, you will see this situation had been building for some time. The upside is that all the surrounding tension has disappeared, making way for you to move on up. So, again, on Saturday, it's kind of... Well, it's, it doesn't have to be a heartbreak situation, but like... Now that you kind of see, you can look back and be like, oh my god, this thing that I've been doing or this person that I'm friends with, why? Why? Like, why is that a thing? So then you can end it, fi like, end that, finalize whatever that is. Just end it, get it over with. And it may be sad, but there is clarity there. And you can make your way to move on from that situation. So Sunday we have the Nine of Swords. Uh, key meanings, anxiety, stress, disruption, insomnia. Oh god. <laughs> Being mentally overwhelmed, fear and stress are the traditional meanings of this tense nine. You could be struggling to process one recent event, feel anxious about the future, or be locked in a pattern of anxious thinking. Additional meanings include whatever else disturbs sleep, such as nightmares, insomnia, or physical discomfort. Ooh. So Sunday, be aware that there could be a possibility of physical discomfort while you're trying to sleep or insomnia or nightmares. Oh, those are always the worst. If you're kind of nervous about that, um, have a moonstone by your bed. It does help a bit with that. Um, also, anxiety over a recent event. Ooh, what if next episode, like next week's Game of Thrones episode, is like too much to comprehend? <gasps> that's it. No, I'm just kidding. That's not it. But I mean, it could be. It could be a stressful... It, it's going to be for me. I already can tell this. It, this is what that means. <laughs> but so now you're aware. So you, now you know that stress and that anxiety is coming. It'll be on Sunday. So I hope this was hope insightful for you guys. And I don't really know if I've mentioned this before, but how I see the future is the future is unwritten. And this is just one of the many things that could happen. So if you don't like the way it's going, you can change that. You can change the course of your future and that'll change the cards for the rest of your week. So with that, I'm going to end this uh, card reading our weekly card reading here. I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope it was in yeah, insightful. Now go enjoy Game of Thrones. I will also be going to enjoy Game of Thrones and we'll talk about it next Sunday maybe. Probably not though because I don't like to do spoilers and some people don't get to watch it right at Sunday. So anyways, I'll talk to you guys next week. Have a great week. Bye.